Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I thought I would do a little get ready with me with you guys for like a winter makeup look. I know the lighting isn't the best. All of the light comes through my windows back here and my vanity is here, but I need the light that's coming through back there to be able to even see in my mirror here. This mirror used to light up and then it stopped. Um, sorry the camera's shaking by the way. It's balancing on like a speaker and then a moisturizer and then the camera So I know the lighting isn't ideal. I'll try to get it looking its best in editing I have my hair back right now. I need to do oh my god The lighting actually is kind of shit. So hopefully I end up using this footage. I'm so sorry that the lighting is like not that good um, like I said, hopefully I can make it look better in editing but all I've done so far is use moisturizer and then my under eye concealer my maybelline age rewind so now i'm going to do foundation i'm going to use the givenchy um taint couture balm and i like this a lot and it's i think this is going to be like a good color for my skin tone right now i self tanned last night but it's not it's definitely not that noticeable but my face up here is a little bit more pale than like right here so this should be a good product for evening Oh, dead out. I thought I could do this instead of like doing an, an, uh, another get ready with me on my main channel just because I guess I did one of those like recently. Um, but I like doing these videos a lot and I guess I'll probably have a lot of a lot of footage to go through this day if I'm going to be like filming this and then other stuff today. But that's all good. If I woke up shockingly um, later than planned, I don't know why I have been so freaking exhausted lately i really don't know because like i feel like i've been getting good sleep and then i just cannot wake up like i set so many alarms today like i think i set my alarms to start going off at like um probably like 10 or 9 50 or something and i did not get out of my bed until like 12 something so that's just craziness i think me and riley are just gonna go around uh, the arts district downtown because that's a pretty area and try and find just some cool streets and lights and stuff like that and then we might go to Chinatown after that which is weird because well it's not weird but I never go to Chinatown and it's literally so close to downtown like it's basically a part of downtown but I never go there for some reason so after this I'm gonna do my hair in some like curly waves I kind of want it to just be like loose waves, so I'm probably not going to try and like curl it too much. I also need to find some earrings to wear today because I haven't been wearing earrings much recently. And um, I don't know, I actually probably should ask for a good pair of like just basic kind of studs for Christmas. I haven't asked for anything for Christmas because I'm like, uh, like am I allowed to do that, mom? I'm like 22 years old, but I'm going home for Christmas. Um, but maybe that just be like oh i'm just like a basic pair of cute little stud earrings or something and for both holes because i never wear earrings in this hole oh that just got ugh the lighting is shit i would close these so we would have at least like better better light but like i said this is like the only light that gets into my apartment from my windows so i need um i need the light to be able to do my makeup but you guys don't really care. Uh, the only thing I will say about my under eye concealer is it always gets into these like little wrinkle creases that I have. So that is frustrating, even when I even when I do powder with it. So that's not cool. But I need to keep an eye on the time. It's like 1.23 now, which is already like, okay, I need to hurry my shit up because like I have to plan out kind of like my looks and stuff that I'm gonna wear. Finally done with my foundation and I took long ass time on my foundation okay so now i'm going to um set my under eye concealer with i am just started trying out this new palette oh why is my nose itchy i'm so itchy today i feel like my face is itching right now it's like i don't want to itch it since i just put on my freaking foundation <laughs> so that's why i keep like doing this okay so the it cosmetics this is like a little award-winning face palette and i'm going to use the bye bye pores translucent this one the powder and go under my eyes try and set my under eye concealer to make sure that doesn't do more creasing but like I said that's the only annoying thing I feel like this 
I feel like I haven't ever found an under eye concealer though that doesn't get into my little, it's not even that it creases, it's just like I have like a little line, like a wrinkle I guess, um, under there and the product just, it always goes into there, so yeah. Oh, why am I so itchy right here? Okay, well I guess we'll set, we'll set this while we're at it. And then I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna use that same, this same powder to set my face. Okay, frick. <laughs> my hair has started to fall out. How have I been recording for like almost 12 minutes and all I've done is my foundation and powder. This is, I'm getting distracted by the fact that I'm filming, which is not good because I'm trying to do my makeup quickly right now. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of concealing. Which I don't usually wear concealer, but I want my makeup to look its best today. Ugh, I don't know what to do about the remains of this like little tiny zit that formed onto my under my literal lip. I guess I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer and then I will put on a lip color over it. Oh, my eyes totally, that like, I don't think that was a good product to use under my eyes. They totally look like cakey and not, ugh, they don't look good basically, they're creasing. This is why most days I just don't even wear makeup because it frustrates me and it takes so long out of my day to put on makeup like I think about back to high school I would wear makeup every single day and I think it was because I didn't have the confidence to like go and see the people at school that I would see every day like without makeup because they would always see me wearing makeup so i'm like i can't just i don't know it didn't even go through my head like oh i shouldn't wear makeup it was just like i wear makeup every single day so now like over the years i've gotten just <laughs> i don't know i've gotten just so much better at like being okay with not wearing makeup and i definitely like prefer to have my look done you know i feel so much more i definitely feel more more confident and just better like i'm putting out a better like version of myself i guess i don't really know why i just i feel that confidence and that's why i like to you know do my makeup for things and why i still like to have it on um i don't know what i'm saying right now i just use the highlight from this palette i don't think i'm gonna use the the bronzer in it i'm gonna use my Lindsay's Hula, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use, oh, my nose is stuffy. The struggle of when you have to blow your nose but you just put on your full face of makeup and then you blow your nose and you get makeup all over the tissue or just like, it like wipes off your nose and you're just like, great, you know, I love, I love this. I love being a girl. I'm gonna use this angled contour brush and some, well, there's like a lot on there. <laughs> Some benefit hula. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to kind of <laughs> blend out that line that I just did. I'm gonna use my favorite blush, which is um, Kinky from Pure Cosmetics. You can't really see it in this bad light i don't even know why i tried to show you a close-up but this is such a beautiful blush i love the way that my highlight goes into my blush that goes into my contour for the past like few months my favorite part of doing my makeup has been doing my cheeks i think it's because i finally found like a really good a really good highlight that i love oh, i had a little i had a little hair um, but my favorite part is just like getting that getting that good cheek I think face has become my favorite part and eyes has become like my least favorite part I don't really enjoy doing my eyes that much. I'm gonna do like a light a light shadow look today because I want to have 
something, but most days I don't I don't really wear eyeshadow unless I'm like going out at night to something. Oh, I love this blush. I really love this blush. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I use this makeup forever. It's called the Pro Sculpting Brow Palette, and I have been really liking this. So I'm quickly gonna like do a little a little spoolie through them. I'm excited to do my hair and have it done. I feel like I haven't done my hair. Um, I guess I had it like straight for the event the other night, but I feel like I haven't been doing my hair at all. I've been kind of like not doing my hair and not doing my makeup and just like, <laughs> I don't know. I just haven't really been getting ready lately, at least while Vlogmas has been going on. So I kind of want to start doing my makeup more, but also it's nice to like give your skin a break my skin has been improving which i'm happy about because i have been having issues with my skin and it's finally at least like this week it's looking pretty good um it's looking better so i don't know if that's i think maybe the new products i'm using are doing good and also i this might sound weird but i stopped using cleanser i stopped washing my face in the shower and washing my face and um well, I haven't been wearing as much makeup, like I said, so that probably has an effect on it too, but I stopped because I feel like using so much product, it's just not, I don't know, it's not that necessary sometimes, and it's like maybe I don't even need to be cleansing my face so much and I should just not use anything except like, you know, moisturizer and face masks and stuff. I'm getting my eyelash extensions filled tomorrow and I haven't done that in like maybe... I think it's been like four weeks or so. It's been it's been a long time. Um, I kind of extended it so I could get them done um, pretty close to like when I'm gonna be leaving for three weeks because I'm going home to Georgia for three freaking weeks, which is like, that's a long time. So I was like, oh, well, because you're supposed to get your lashes filled every two to three weeks. I typically do it like every three weeks. I don't really have to go more than that. Um, to get my lash extensions done so i thought oh i could go like tomorrow and then i leave a week from then and then i'll have my lashes for three weeks and they'll they'll probably be pretty good but they'll need to fill when i get back my cam just stopped recording um but i was just talking about my eyelash extensions but i'm finishing up my brows right now i have like a little black dot above my eyebrow and i don't know if it's a hair or what the heck it is but i just tried to tweeze it off and i'm like will not come off. Do you guys ever wonder if the tail of your eyebrow is too long, like this part? Because I feel like mine on this side at least is really long right now. I'm like, should I tweeze the hairs that are down there? Like, how do you know if the tail is too long? I think my brows are a little bit too done up for my liking right now. So, can I like fix them with, <laughs> can I go in with a powder and diffuse them that helped a little bit i have two really deep forehead wrinkles that i've always had them but i've noticed them more recently i think they're getting like more prominent i know i'm only like 22 but i seriously feel that i'm getting more prominent and i feel like i've started noticing them so much more especially when i wear makeup it kind of like creases in there <laughs> so i've started using this like um this product for for like lines and stuff it's called it cosmetics bye bye lines and i don't know i don't know my thoughts on it yet but i inherited them from my dad though my dad has them like super deep in his forehead so we did some primer just some urban decay primer potion i used to apply this with my finger but now i like to do it with a brush because it just like i don't know it gets all over my finger it's i feel like it's easier to apply it with a brush and like spread it on the whole on the whole lid Sometimes I think about my life before primer, like back in middle school when I didn't, when I didn't know what eyeshadow primer was and I would just go to middle school every day. Well, maybe not every day, but I honestly would wear eyeshadow in middle school. I would wear like a silver glittery eyeshadow from the Sephora brand to middle school every day because I thought that silver matched with all of my outfits. So I would wear silver. And then I also had this eyeshadow palette that had like every color and I would match sometimes when I didn't wear my silver I would match my eyeshadow color to my shirt 
in middle school and think that like that's how you're supposed to do your makeup wow it would be fun to be a fly on the wall and like look back on those times i wish i could s legitimately see how i did my makeup like specifically for school i feel like i wish i took so many more pictures <laughs> to look back on okay now um well i have to do a little bit of this Primer under my eyes, which I always forget. It's gonna be a lot of footage that I have today. Now I'm going to use a little bit of shadow. This Makeup Forever, this is um, a matte palette. It's called the Nine Art, or Palette Nine Artist Shadow Palette. Highlight under my brow bone with this. Basically, it's like a white color. And I like to start off now with my highlight because I feel like it helps the shadow that I put like at the top to kind of like blend in almost better if I already have my brow bone highlight. Because I think I'm not that good at like blending my shadow or sometimes it just looks like too much of a dark line. I guess it's probably just because I'm so pale. It's It looks kind of like too much of a contrast with my with my dark shadows sometimes so i don't even really use like i'm not going to use anything too too dark too crazy all right so do a little yeah get that brow bone highlight oh i love doing that i'm actually going to add a little bit of this color while i'm at it into my inner corner just because kind of makes things a little more bright now I'm gonna take a little bit of this matte, like, cream-colored shadow, and I like to put this just right, right on, like, the bottom of my lid. I wish I had the patience to do my makeup like this every single day, but you guys, like I said, it just takes up so much time in in my day and it's not something that i give myself like if i woke up earlier right it's like i could do it but i don't give myself that that time also whenever i close this eye it's not this eye this eye's fine but whenever i close this eye or just this eye it it like shakes like that it never can it never can stay still which i think is weird and i kind of just got used to my my eye being like that but i don't know if that's weird or i wonder if i could make it stop we have done that now i'm going to grab a diffused crease brush oh my camera's on low battery <sighs> fuck i want to have battery for it to be able to show you guys during my shoot i need to get a spare battery for this so i'm going to finish my makeup i have been getting enough footage anyway i'll show you guys the look when i'm done and i'm gonna charge up my camera a little bit right now all right you guys so i finished getting ready and i did my hair and then this is how my makeup turned out oh i still need to put in a pair of earrings before i forget but my friend riley is here so i'm gonna go and get him and then we're just gonna start our adventure around downtown but i think this is like a look that i want to shoot in i'm gonna go get him i'm loving the glowy the glowiness today this highlight yes it cosmetics and it's gonna be a great day i need to eat food though i haven't eaten it. i am in the car with riley now nice. and he's driving us we're headed to uh we're just gonna go straight for a little bit because i'm directing him but um we're just like headed around we're gonna go to this cool like wall and we're like in the arts district right now and then i think we're gonna hit up like the chinatown area so He's my chauffeur for the day, my photographer. I'm gonna find some neon lights in China. Yeah, it'll be nice. Oh, my bus. Woo, I know it's, <laughs> it's scary driving downtown. Like, I don't even know how I he's doing it. this right now. I'm like, it's I so gave scary. up on that months ago. All right, we're at our first location, and I've definitely vlogged at this wall before, but we have a little Audrey here. The toy district right now. About to take some pics. We're currently on the ground getting these lights. We're in Little Tokyo right now, and this is how you get the shot. We're incorporating the glasses, which are pretty trippy. Lindsay's down for anything. Yeah. It's looking really trippy, and we're liking it. So we are still at Little Tokyo, and we're at this place called Weller Court. And there's this cool room that just like has these moving neon lights. 
and we took a bunch of cool pics in here and they kind of like travel through different sections of the wall. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, this is a cool spot that Riley suggested actually. I've never been here. Yeah, I shot here before once and it turned out really cool. No, this was so cool. We definitely got some good shots here. I'm eating a bagel. <laughs> I just got back from my shooting with Riley, which was so fun. He was so sweet. It was our first time actually just me and him hanging out. And he's so nice and he's so talented. I didn't even know he's only a senior in high school. So he's seriously like incredible. Like he's what, 17, 18? I put on my little stars for a few of the last photos that we took. And I really love the photos. So it was an awesome day, honestly. Um, I came home and I changed into this. I'm wearing some velvet flared out pants. These are from, um, I think like Revolve clothing or something. And then I'm wearing this little striped turtleneck from Mink Pink. It's really cozy. And I'm liking the vibe that like my hair and then these are kind of the same color. But I'm wearing this because Meg's about to come over. She's here. <laughs> and we are kind of in a rush, but we're headed to the screening of La La Land. It's a screening, not a premiere, right? Yeah. I think this dome is where we're going to see the film. We're classic 30 minutes late, so probably started without us, honestly. How did the script find its way to each of you, and, and what was your reaction to the idea of a modern day musical with original music? I met with Damien, and we sat, we talked about the project. I was doing cabaret at the time on stage, and he came and saw it, and so, I guess that was like my unofficial audition for the movie. Um, and we just talked for, for a long time about what he wanted to make, how it would unfold. I thought it was really exciting that it was an original musical because I just hadn't seen anything like it ever. I mean, other than original musicals, <laughs> <laughs> which I think that's. And Ryan, I think you had previously met with Damien for something else, or, or you had already been in talking to him? Yeah, just met him. Um, Match.com. Match.com. <laughs> Thank you. We met at a bar by my house, and uh, you know, the drunker we got, um, this is true, the f more animated he got about making movies that you wanted to see in a movie theater and not watch on your iPhone. And then a few months later, uh, he sent me this script. And, asked if I still knew how to dance. <laughs> and what was your response? I said, I don't think 90s hip hop is what you're looking for, but so yes, I can thread the needle. We just left the, the cinema and <laughs> there was a Q&A after the movie, which I filmed a little bit of that you guys saw, which was really cool. I didn't know that was happening. So that was awesome because we got to be in the same room as Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone I had a hard time. and some other cool peeps so that was really awesome I recorded a little bit of that but it was very interesting overall our thoughts on the movie La La Land was I really enjoyed it it was a really cool like musical it was unlike anything I've probably ever seen Meg yeah, was saying it was that. very interesting the director was crazy so good his yeah. name's Damien I forget his last name though shout out Damien <laughs> um no it was so cool because it was shot in LA and it was kind of had like a classic old time Timey feel like the, both of the main characters that's kind of that was their style it was yeah and it was super cool I think I definitely started to like it more as the film went on in the beginning I wasn't I, I mean I don't know I guess maybe it takes a while to get into a musical in the beginning I was kind of like what the heck is going on man as it went on I really got into it more because you start to like connect with the characters more and the ending was also really really cool like it was really well done so it was a good ending for sure definitely was a good movie for this time of year it was kind of set it started like in LA in the winter time and ended in LA in the winter time so it was really cool what were your thoughts ma'am I lived for it honestly it was amazing and yeah like, you've seen two musicals in the last like few days well I mean like Mo Moana was Moana. not I know I was gonna call it Moana because like that's what everybody thinks it is Moana like wasn't well it was it had musical numbers but it wasn't like the whole entire it thing it wasn't like, like singing, singing and dancing yeah, the yeah. entire time yeah they, she just would break out into song at random times but in regards to La La Land, we live for it. Also, I just think it's so weird. Like I've been talking so much recently about like musical theater and all this stuff, and then like I wasn't even I wasn't even sure 
that this was going to be a musical because we had seen the trailer and it was like oh, yeah. silent. They were just like dancing. Yeah, the trailer. What they showed in theaters for it was really weird. It didn't yeah. make me want to see it. <laughs> yeah, it was a musical and it was very well done and cool. And it was just like a nice experience to see it. Yeah, it comes out this weekend. Um, so. I think you guys should definitely go see it. Maybe go see it with your mom or your grandma or someone over this holiday season. Your also, boy. yeah, your bae. We're each other's bae, if you didn't know. You should also see this is coming out, or I think it just came out actually on like onto DVD. The Secret Life of Pets. It changed us. That honestly, still the best movie I've seen this year by far. Like, incredible. Definitely watch that. And we're at Veggie Girl now. This is what I always get here. The lighting is super orange. They kind of look like carrots, but these are just some sweet potato fries. And then they do like a, a vegan ranch because everything here is vegan. And it's so good. Actually, I don't even know if it's a ranch, but it's some like interesting sauce with it that tastes kind of like ranchy, but it's a little bit spicy and a little ketchup. Meg's waiting for her food. They're taking quite some time, so. I got the Santa Fe crispy chicken. Oh, crispy chicken, but chicorn. Soy corn. I haven't had chicorn in years. <laughs> My bays are leaving. We had a great night together. I took her on a hot date on all the time. Mm-hmm. And we just had a serious cuddle puddle with the dogs. Today was a long but really good Day. I can't even believe that my get ready with me portion of this video was today. It feels like that was a long time ago. I just guess I just had a long day, but a really good day nonetheless. And this was definitely probably the longest vlog yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And comment down below. Leave me a comment telling me your favorite part of this vlog or just anything. Catch me up on your life. I would love to know. So from me and my Mr. Squirtle. Good night and see you tomorrow. Ooh, yeah.